ですよ On this episode, I'm going to be removing these vents on my TJ Wrangler right above the stereo and turning it into a switch panel. I don't personally use the vents on that section anyway, ever, and I may end up with an iPad for uh, off-road navigation, GPS, etc. mounted right above that anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut that out, mount a piece of aluminum, and then uh, fill it up with switches. So as you can see, I popped the vents out, then I cut the support cage out with a regular old cutting wheel. Now I can use some cardboard, make a template for the aluminum piece that will get riveted or screwed in, haven't decided yet. And that'll hold all my switches. Got me a little cardboard aided drafting, CAD. Cereal box aided draft. I don't know. Anyway, got that to where that'll fit over that. I'm probably going to rivet it to it because that comes out pretty easy. And then I can just pop that off if I ever need to get to the back of it. That way I don't got to deal with screws and fittings and stuff like that. So now I got to find some aluminum to cut this out of. Couldn't find any aluminum uh, thin enough and uh, big enough to be bendable over the top here. So uh, kind of thin piece of steel. I'll just paint it when I'm done. Uh, so this should work. Went ahead and got the holes drilled so I can rivet it to the center console. Marked out all my switch positions so that I can go ahead and pre-drill those and I don't have to be fussing with it while it's attached to the center console. I'll do basic hole size for the switches down here on the auxiliaries so I can add more switches later, or I'll just throw some switches in there and have them ready to go, just no wires connected to them. Onboard air, winch in and out, fog lights, starter button, main power to everything, and a little wolf whistle. For the in and out, I'm gonna go with a center off instead of a momentary, like comes with the uh, remote here. You can internally wire this box running up to the dash. And what you're gonna wanna do is have 
the power from the winch coming to this switch. This switch turns on this switch and most people would go with a momentary because that's what's on the remote that connects out here, but that's for someone else to mess with and that way that their literally hand is on it and they can hold it in and out. I'm gonna go with a center off switch. So the whole point of the in cab switches is I can be, you know, manipulating the gears and driving while the winch is operating pulling me out and this way i can flick it to in and start driving myself out and if i need to i can reach up and flick it back to off center or back to out uh, whatever but that way it'll hold itself on the in or out position and uh, that way i don't have to physically hold the switch on the dash while i'm trying to drive out of the hole so i'm going to drill these holes out get it painted put the switches in, rivet it to the dash, and then put it back together. Holes drilled, a little paint, we'll rivet it to the dash, and uh, yeah. So not too bad, I need to get some more switches. Pretty sure I have more. Got the little wolf whistle switch, main switch, start switch, winch switch, winch in and out, and onboard air. Then I'm gonna get some more switches for LEDs and whatnot. So uh, not too bad, rivet it on takes over the vents. Next time we'll uh, wire them up. I'll show you how to do a push button start on a Jeep. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.